What is up, everyone? All right, I don't have that much time, so I'm gonna quickly show you guys how to do a sock button. So that's using one of these little guys and making a perfect bun on your head. Easy peasy. Okay, so first and foremost, the biggest issue I see when people try and do these is people aren't using enough hairspray to get their hair in a slicked, I have like a feather in my head, a slicked ponytail. So how to do that is I take hairspray. This is Aveda Control air control. It smells like heaven. So I just spray my head. And then I take a smoothing brush. And I brush my hair into a ponytail. And then I'm going to take the hairspray and spray the whole back so I don't have any stragglers. Because sometimes I just want to bring hairspray with me and start attacking people. So this is the perfect hairdo for 80 degree hair off your face weather. So you want to think of placement, right? So you want to draw a line from your chin to the back of your head. And that's the perfect spot. You don't want here... You don't want like on the top of your head because that always looks kind of strange. So you just want to think like if you could draw a line from your chin to the back, that's where you want your button to be. It's the most flattering on your face and doesn't make it look weird. Because some people definitely seem to have theirs like way too high on the top of their head. So I'm going to take a scrunchie. Well, this isn't a scrunchie. This is a hair elastic. And I'm going to tie it around my hair. Then I'm going to tighten it. And then I'm going to take my hairspray again. Spray. Brush. That way you have a totally sleek ponytail. Does not hair sticking out. It looks clean. And then you're going to take this little guy and put it around your pony. See? And then I take my hair. My hair is not that long. And then I'm going to use the hairspray again and just kind of spray to set my hair down. And then I'm going to take one of those teeny elastics that you can buy, like the dollar store or whatever. And then I'm going to just take it and wrap it around the bun. See? So now if your hair is super long, you can like braid this and wrap it around. You could twist it and wrap it around. That's usually what my sister does. My hair is short, so I can kind of just take it and almost like tuck it into the bun. I have a bigger one, but I don't know where it is. And that's it. Easy, easy, easy. And then if you have any crazy hair sticking out, I just spray them. And then I might throw in a bobby pin just so my tail doesn't come out. So I'm just going to take a bobby pin and kind of insert it. Look at that. Perfect bun. Two minutes. Two minutes and it's professional and clean looking. You can wear it to work. You could do it all, guys, and it's so fast. Perfect for the people who say, I wash my hair every day. Don't wear it in a bun for two days. There's no point of washing your hair if you're going to throw it in a bun, right? Okay, so I'm going to do makeup. I haven't done makeup in a couple days, so I literally don't know where anything is right now. Okay, I see what I need. Here we go. So I'm going to start with my Aveda Botanical Kinetic Spray. And I just spray that all over. Let it dry for a second. This is like perfect for like if you have like little girls too. It's so easy. And it's easy to take up. And then... 
I'm gonna do my MAC Paint Jelly Pot as an eyeshadow primer. Kinda going with it, I'm not really sure what I'm doing for makeup yet, so. I don't even know what I have up here for lipstick. This place is a mess. Oh, maybe I'll do, okay. I'm gonna do like a bronzy type color. All right, so I'm gonna use, I'll do my Naked palette. This is my Naked original. I did, I wonder what the colors look like. Eh, I don't have anything dark enough in this one yet. So I did get my Subculture palette. So excited. My husband was like, I've never seen somebody so excited to open a package before. He doesn't get it. All right, so I'm gonna go to my Naked palette. If you do not have a Naked palette, do yourself a favor and get one. I'm a big fan of the first edition. Uh, second edition is also really good. I'm not a huge fan of the third edition. And the smoky one is cool, but I don't know. It's not my favorite either. I'm trying to find my tin. This is the hard part. When I work out, I get my, I get um dressed in my mom's house, so then I throw everything everywhere. Okay, so I got my Sephora color switch. I'm gonna clean off my brush before I use it because it looks like I used blue or purple or something last time. All right, so going into my Naked palette, I'm gonna use the color Dark Horse and Half Baked. So, for my outer corner, I'm gonna do the Dark Horse. I'm going to do the same on the other side. Then I'm going to go in with the color Half Baked, which is like a gold. I'm going to throw that in the inner corner. I'm going to use this color also called Smog, which is right next to the two. It's in between the two. And just kind of run that. because It's almost like a, it's more bronzy than the dark color I used. And then I'm going to take that light color again and run it in the inner corner of my eye. Same on this side. And then I'm going to take the color Smog and do the underneath. There's like an inspiration picture that I love that I want to try the makeup. She looks very dewy and it's so pretty. And I feel like it would be so beautiful for like a picture. But I think if I wore it all day, I would look sweaty. So oh, there is going to be a time when I have more time that I will be attempting that look. And then I'm going to clean off my brush. And then I'm just going to blend it out. Same on the other side. I got a little bit of a sunburn. You can see my eyebrows so red. I got went walking and I didn't put sunscreen on. Because sometimes I think, well, if I'm not laying in it, it's not hitting me. So, sometimes I'm not the brightest bulb. Okay. Anastasia Beverly Hills. I'm going to use the color Dripping in Gold. And I'm going to use that as a brow highlight. I 
have to take an allergy pill before I leave the house because I can feel them today. Okay. And then I am going to grab my liquid eyeliner, which is from NYC brand. It is $2.99 at Walmart. Huge splurge. I'm going to put my finger, my pinky, on my face. And just go back and forth until I get the line that I like. Get my low battery kicking in. Hopefully it's not at 10%. 20 should be okay. Then I'm going to do the same. Excuse me, shakes over there. Buddy. Buddy. So there's that. And then I'm going to use my mascara. Voluminous Lash Intensa by L'Oreal. If I didn't have this birthmark, I would never wear foundation, but that little birthmark, especially in the sun, comes out with the vengeance. Because I do like like my freckles. But. I guess I only wear tinted moisturizer, so it's not totally covering. See, we all have our thing that we're self-conscious about. So now I'm going to put on my tinted moisturizer. Good catch. That would have been a very loud boom. Uh, where is my brush? I see it. Okay, so get out. I'm going oh, I'm going to use my Aveda tinted moisturizer in the color Poplar. Cover that baby. So I got that on. You can still see my freckles a little bit, but and then I'm gonna take my NC, I believe 43. Now that I've been at the sun again. I'm gonna get my neck because my neck is so white. crazy because it's like dark and then white.
And then I'm going to use something shimmery for my blush. I'm going to use this. It's by Becca. It is called Rose Gold. I need another one. Meh. Too light. Just kidding. I'm going to go. I used to have one. It's kind of broken into a million pieces. I really need to get one of these ones. This one's called Blushed Copper. It's literally broken into a million pieces, but I'll like, try and use it. Yeah, that one's better. It has like an awesome shine. I like the highlight. I Look, I just don't like when it's like light. Like I like when you do something like this where you have the shimmer, but it's still darker than your skin color. I have to water more of that because I like that color for the summer. All right, my dears. Closing up, closing up. I need some eyebrow stuff. Where you at? This place is a mess. Mm. Here we go. All right, I use my Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Defining Pencil. And I brush my brows into place. And then I lightly, very lightly, go over the shape I already have. And then I just brush it in. There's that. And for my lips today, I have this from Lime Crime. I got it on Amazon. The color is called Lana. And it's like a super shimmery. It's a liquid matte, so it dries matte, but it has shimmer, so I really like it. It's like a brown. My lips get so ticklish when I do that. I want to like scratch them. Usually I do do a liner, but I don't have one that would match this. I love this color. So if you like this color, Amazon Lime Crime, and it's called Lana. It's really hard to find a liquid matte. Hi, Carrie. I know you've been texting me, and I swear to God, I'm going to get back to you. I've just I've seen the name come up, but I was live. Um, so anybody who likes this color, called Lana. I don't know if you can see it. I can't see it. Well, it's from Lime Crime. You can get it on Amazon. I think it was like 22 bucks. So that's the look. Fun. Some bronziness to show off my tan skin right now. And I hope everyone has a fabulous day. And I will get to see you guys. Hi, Maya. <laughs> Look at you guys. I wish I could see you guys, but now it's just me. Um, I will get back to Carrie, I promise. Uh, first thing on my list. So I will see you guys later tomorrow. Bye.